Carolyn. You're up, sweetie. I guess I'm sort of used to the emptiness by now. A mundane wasteland in an idle suburb. The continuity of the same boring life. Same town. Same school, same people, and every day I live it. We all live it. Over and over, again and again, day after day. I wake up, I get ready for school. I read what's assigned, I write what's asked of me. I do what I need to get by. And for what? It's just a life of echoes, shadows, faint whispers, resonant of what once made our lives meaningful. Lives of purpose and profound importance. What happened to that life? I've started painting again. I haven't done it in a while. I remember when I used to do lots of things. I love to dance. All I want to do lately is run. Stand by the window and pretend what it would be like to be somewhere else. <laughs> they say I was overcome with so much anguish. Anguish is what I've become. They say maybe she's trying to find happiness amid a life flooded with sorrow. They give me a pill, tell me to swallow it, tell me it will take away the pain. But I'm not depressed. I don't want to numb myself until I can't feel it all. I know where I want to go. I see it sometimes in my sleep. The other place. That other world. A world of stars, where they dance too fast to comprehend, but fast enough to know their joy. The world where they can sing in silence, yet never go unheard. They ask no debts. They take no legacy. A world of color. Emotion, expression, a world where I can live a life worth living. And my mom is still alive. But I guess this is all I am for now. 
a girl who wants to run. So here's to running. Time to run. Time to run.